Hey guys, and welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. When we last left off, we destroyed another one of these Titanus beasts. And actually, uh, I would go as far as saying it's the easiest one to date. Uh, the second to last one was easily the hardest by a quantum leap, which is interesting. This game, I guess, does not have a linear difficulty, which is cool. It's kind of refreshing when that happens. Um... But yeah, he wasn't actually too bad, although we did have to hide in some strange underground crypt, which was curious. Now, I don't know how we're going to get to our next area. And in fact, if the game had just recently saved, I would run out of stamina underwater to see what happens. I'm not really sure. I mean, logic says you would die, but also knowing this game, I am wondering if you would just auto-surface. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think we can climb this. The game isn't very good at indicating where you can climb and where you can't. Which we cannot climb that, no. That's okay. I mean, this looks fairly cut and dry. However, I'm assuming if we go off the edge, which is a very real possibility, then, uh, well, we're shark bait. A bit lightly. That looks very climbable, but it isn't. We are starting to get pulled in by the current, which is uh, concerning. Also, that does look like it's a bridge, kind of, but I don't think that we can get up there. Oh boy, let's go. You know what? Let's get us over with. Oh boy, we are accelerating quickly towards our doom. Mm, let's go see if we can get one of these. Okay, the current isn't at... Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, the, yeah, the current's there. Okay, okay, I will... Uh, nope, fine. <sighs> now, that doesn't look climbable, but there is grass there, so maybe it is. Um, there's a shrine over there. That's, that is not a shrine that we've... Yeah, that is the shrine that we just were. Okay, that's cool. Right, um, I have a feeling that we're about to witness a sort of death. But it's fine. Oh, God. Good night. Goodbye, cruel world. No, fight it. Remember, you're training and you will make it back alive. Ah, shit. Okay, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Uh, you got to put a little bit more effort in, buddy. Because this is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. Well, I guess he just didn't want it. I guess he just gave up. Are we dead? We're dead. We're toast dead. We're, we're toast. Okay. Interesting that the Colossi have failed to kill us. We seem to be our own worst enemy here. Maybe there's something in that, you know. Maybe that's what the game's in here. Maybe we are the true monster here. Right, I'm not 100% convinced... That has to be the way to go, though. What have we overlooked? I mean, I know a lot of the puzzle of this game, especially playing it the first time, is working out how to get to the Colossus and then working out how to defeat them. Once you know that, once you've played this game once, it's a very quick game. You can just dart around, killing them left and right. I did think it was quite interesting that a lot of uh, comments that I read on... on YouTube when I was looking up the reviews of this game everyone was saying that they wish they could go back and forget everything they knew about this game and play it again for the first time so it's kind of an honor actually to be playing a game like this for the first time uh, in our current climate so it's interesting I mean obviously I missed it out in the PlayStation 2 generation but now I get to experience experience like this a lot of people haven't enjoyed it either, but then these are people that have grown up with garbage games like Call of Duty and, you know, shit. Essentially. You don't really get games like this anymore. Not outside of, um, not unless, uh, yeah, not outside of indie development, you know. Indie uh, developers are the only real, um developers these days that are trying to push entertainment. All the big AAA developers are all microtransactions, regurgitating the same games every year. And as I've said many, many times, I've 
kind of lost interest in uh, interest in AAA games. I have done for at least a decade now. There's just nothing that's interesting. I mean, there's a few interesting games coming out on the horizon, but most of what I play these days are from the small developers. The guys that are still interested in keeping old school gaming alive, like decent single player, decent story. That kind of stuff. It's kind of sad, really, the gaming. Now gaming has become mainstream. It's uh, it's kind of been polluted. You don't get games like this anymore. So it is very exciting to be playing it in 2018 for the first time. Well, there's a path down there. That's not a path. That's the water. Um... I think one of the better games was um, of recent memory was Horizon Zero Dawn. That was very good, but unfortunately, that still did have the stank of modern AAA development. But it was still a very impressive effort. Uh, can we not get up there, dude? If you put your seriously, are you seriously? You know, you deserve that death. I'm not... Uh, okay, well, there we go. Uh, we are... Well, that's wonderful. It's good to see uh, bugs and glitches. are still very much alive. Uh, we are... Yeah, we can't even die. <sighs> well, that's uh, <clears throat> awkward. Can we kill ourselves, perhaps? Oh, we're going to have to quit. Quit and reload. Hmm, well, I suppose bugs and glitches these days are to be expected, which is uh, something we never really had to deal with before, back in the uh, the old school. If a game had a breaking bug in it back in the day, uh, you were stuck with it, because you couldn't patch it, you couldn't fix it. The only way they could do it is um, by fixing the game and having a reprint on a, on a new cartridge or a new disc. So when games um, were launched, they had to be perfect. But then, you know, you could say the games were much, 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 much simpler back then. So, you know, how the hell? I'm not convinced this is the right way. I mean, this seems to be, this seems to take us to another arena. Right, let's jump off. So... We need to go. So it's over here, which according... Right. So it is in that big bay. There is actually a bit of land down there. I wonder. Come on, I go this way, my friend. This way. Let's see if we need to go this way. Let's have a little gander. Yeah, I'm not convinced that's the right way. I mean, it might be, but because we need to go this way, and that leads us to a big opening. Our target is over there. Ha, huh, hang on. Bugger, yeah, maybe that is the way then. Because down there, where we fought that colossi, that's a closed environment. But that up there seems like a closed environment as well. We can't jump down. There's no there's no way to scale down either. There's no obvious climbing places. The only thing that's really obvious is over that side, but if we actually have a look over that side, although we could possibly cross it, come on. There we go. 
I can't see anywhere. Like, if we can get over to that other ledge, I can't see anywhere where that ledge would take us. Ah, hang on, no. No, there's definitely stuff over there. Okay. There's definitely a, a pathway over there. The question is how to get there. I'm not convinced that we're going the right way. I think we're going roughly the right way. But I think there might be a little bit more to this. See, there was another way to go in the forest. I reckon that we can take... We can take that left. Yeah, there's nothing to the left. We can take that right there, but that doesn't take us anywhere. Or it does. It takes us to that big open area, which is the wrong place. But it looks like there are multiple paths up here. Ah, hello. Okay. I think if we follow this stream around, maybe, just maybe, there's another way. Is there fruit in that tree? Put the sword down, douche. There we go. Nope, there's no no fruit in that tree. Oh, careful now. Ooh, yep. Ah, there's a. Is this a path? There's nothing in that tree. And there's nothing in that one. Yeah, let's follow this river. Where does this river go? Because logic says the water is coming from somewhere. Now. Okay, this is climbable. Nope, that goes nowhere. Hmm. We need a compass. And a decent map that isn't covered by clouds. I mean, why would you put clouds? Why would you put clouds? Yeah, this is the only path here then. Hmm. Ah. <laughs> okay. My wing woman is uh, showing me um, possibly the way to go. Uh, although, that looked rather fatal. Um, okay, so in that case, I'm just going to continue going around here. So that does seem... This, this feels right. But there has to be more to it. Uh, that's definitely a crossing up there. Surely. Hmm. See, I'm really eager to get over here because I want to fight the next Colossus because the, the fighting of the Colossi is loads of fun. They're really imaginative. They're really interesting. And the designs are just awesome. Uh, why did we stop moving? Okay, that's fine. We won't question it. It's all good. Right, yeah. So... Yeah, that's definitely a path over there. There's no doubt in my mind. Uh, right, okay. Let's just sneak our asses over. Let's try and be a little bit sly about this. I say try, you know. We're not going to be working any miracles here. And down. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is a path. Ah. Hmm. Trouble is, he's in the desert. Hmm. Oh, God. I am confused because the one we're looking for isn't in the desert, it's in the water. Unless that is. Unless that is the way. What I'm going to do, guys, if I can't get over here again, I'm going to look this up. Oh, shit. Mistakes. It's fine. 
Everything's good. It's all gravy. I'm not gonna worry. I'm not worried. I'm not even worried. Right, let's have another swim up here. Because I'm thinking. I think that's part six though, not necessarily number six. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm drowning. Um See these do look climbable, but they're not. That is I wish that cloud wasn't there. I wish we could get rid of the cloud. God damn it. God damn it, cloud. There doesn't appear to be any way up there. Let's just go back this way. It definitely looks like... I mean, going this way seems to be right. It does seem to be right. Whether it actually is or not, I'm not sure. Right, let's get out of the way of the water's current. Because I don't think we can climb up that rock either. It's way too smooth. And our soft and supple hands are too weak to climb, to grab any kind of purchase on the rock. However, ah, look, there is a climby bit there. But... I don't know if we can get any purchase on that. That's the trouble. Ooh. Is any of this climbable? Maybe. Maybe not. Right, okay, nope. Hmm. This is sketchy. This is a Yes, use it, get jump. Yes, there we go. We've cracked it. There we go. Aha! Intuition. Oh, no, 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 no. What the fuck was that? He just had a stroke at the top of the thing. And relax. Ah. So, that's another Colossus for later. Aha. I have seen into the future, guys. And I like it. Hmm. So I was right. That area up there is a big arena, but it's an arena for later. Now. Okay. So, progress has been made. Oh, man. I just want to get down there and kick it in the balls. <laughs> Repeatedly. And laugh. Um, now, how do we get down... There has to be a climbing spot somewhere. Turn around. Thank you. Is that a climbing spot? No. Hmm. Or do we have to climb up to go down? Ah. Nope. Okay, so I think we're, we're definitely in the right area. Just need to find a nice. Oh, can we? Can we not just? Oh, hello. What's all that about? What the hell was that? Oh, seriously? Was that a golden coin? One of the useless pickups came all the way over here for a golden coin. Are you? So maybe this isn't the right way to go. Was that literally a golden coin? Is that what they look like? Are the coins even in the stats? So they that useless? Shrines of Azir, Lizard Tales, special items. Oh, I see. Time riding fish and time riding hawks. I'm guessing. Is there an achievement attached to those? I don't know. Time's died too. Resisting the light. I don't know what that is. Okay, so no. So the coins are of so little value, they're not even on the stats. I am very tempted to jump in, but I kind of know how that's gonna gonna go. There's no climbing area down there. Oh, hello. 
I wonder. Oh, no. No, no. You can tell when it's not the right way because the controls just completely lock up on you. Yeah, we can't go that way. Can't go down there. He's a wuss. I've climbed down worse things than that. Hmm. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to look this up and I will be back. Right, guys. And we are kind of on the right path now. I had to look this one up because I was kind of going a little bit mad. Um, I didn't think there was anywhere else for us to go, but we need to slip in through here. It's very hard to actually make that out on the map, to be honest. But uh, hopefully we're now on the right track, which would be good. If I restart my timer, that would also be great, you know. So, have another windy path. I do like these windy paths, you know. I'd love to visit a place like this. Imagine how peaceful it would be. Uh, and I don't know why you just turned around. Yeah, apart from all the colossi and the evil gods, but, uh, you know. I suppose you can just ignore those. Uh, bloody, you know what, I'll walk. It's just easier. It's like, fuck you, horse. You're useless. He has this habit of just stopping and um, he just he won't move. I don't know if that's a bug in this game or what, but it's really annoying. It's almost as if um, the game thinks you're trying to walk through a wall. But there is no wall here. Right. Oh, and a temple. Very nice indeed. Let's go fill up on God before we get in. Right. Uh, no, you stay there, buddy. Right, let's soak up some God. Prepare our soul. And on the way, now, if I was a lizard with a shiny tail that somehow extends my my grip bar, I would be up there, apparently. That's annoying. Because uh, I don't think we can climb up there. But if we shoot near him, get him to run down. Ah, there we go. Perfect. And the git's gone around the other side. Because, of course, he has. He doesn't want to die, which is awkward. You know, if these guys were a little bit more suicidal, it would be beneficial to us. There we go. Good night. I think we just stunned him. Yeah, he's still squirming. Really? Oh, no, he is dead. Nom, 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 nom. Lovely. All right, let's get out of it. Right, Argo, I would like to ride you. However, you are very incompetent. Ah, that look, that's the way we've got to go. Nice. Mm, all right, buddy, I'm going to give you another chance. This is your one chance. One chance in this video, anyway. Uh, now you're walking backwards. That's... that's uh, I bet this was the last horse left in the stables. The one in the corner dribbling. Just like barely aware of its own existence. It's like, oh, I'll have him. He's the last. But yeah, it's a bit special, this one. I'm wearing a crash hat and everything. Probably, probably had some mittens, too. He probably had a propeller hat, actually. Yes. Yes, I imagine as soon as our quest is over, you'll be going to the glue factory. And even that's too good for him, to be honest. Right. Now, okay, this looks a little bit more like it. Hmm. So apparently there is a bird. I'm kind of looking forward to fighting a bird. I'm going to be honest. It's going to be interesting. Makes me think of the um, the sand bird. I can't remember what it was called now. Out of Mario Sun Super Mario Sunshine. That was such a cool cool level actually really hard really are you fucking useless waste of glue honestly now hmm. very dark around here is there like a break in the fence somewhere nope Aha. Yes, there is a break in the fence. Okay. 
Onwards to victory. I say victory. It's a little bit optimistic. But then I suppose saying onwards to failure doesn't really have the same same ring to it. Uh, ooh, okay. We're going through a break in the fence, but not quite how I envisioned. That's fine. Ooh, well, this is a little bit more obvious. Uh, good thing our hands aren't, you know, slippery and wet from being in the water. You know, video game logic. Maybe we have grippy gloves on. Magic grippy gloves that we can't actually see. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Actually, um, there's a nice amount of excitement when you know you're going to face a new colossus. Colossus? Colossi? Either or. Hmm, that's a lot of steps. Ooh, there she... Oh wow, that's cool. It looks like a bat almost. More of a bat, yeah. With a long beaver tail. That's probably going to, at one point, slap us into next week. In fact, I'll be disappointed if it doesn't, to be honest. The design for the Colossi, as I've said before, is amazing. They look so cool. Truly, truly stunning art direction. And look, there you go. Straight away, it's the sad music. As if the game knows what's about to happen. Some massive crime against... Existence is about to take place. Because these colossi don't seem to be, um, they don't seem to be hostile. I mean, they seem to defend themselves, but they don't seem to be inherently hostile. They have, oh, hello, platforms. Look at that thing. It's so majestic. Although, sadly, we are almost out of time. But at least we found the bastard. Ooh, no, come on. There we are. Right, okay, so. Hey, bub. Now, shooting him's probably going to piss him off. Yeah, that's pissed on his fireworks. Ooh. Oh, how are uh, you, stupid, stupid man? Okay, so getting on this guy is going to be massively easier than I thought. Shoot him, piss him off. That is under the uh, understanding that he actually grabs on. I have mentioned this before that the, the, the grabbing physics just, they don't always work. It's annoying. It's going to fall for the same trick again, I'd wager. Come on, buddy. Where are you going to perch? Okay, that's, that's a fantastic camera angle game. Oh, here he comes, I think. I can't tell because the camera's not cooperating. Seriously, game? Damn it, we had an amazing opportunity here to get on him. If the controls didn't derp out, that totally would have worked as well. I'm telling you, the whole R2 to hold on to things is such a silly button. Hmm. Oh, here he comes. Stand on the platform on the surface of the lake to draw its attack. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. Jump! What? Fucking camera angle? Seriously? Like, how the hell did we end up over there? That, that is so annoying. And they're a perfect example of the uh, grab mechanic not working there as well. See, that is useless. The camera should never go through the water like that.
Ah, I see him. Right, come on, you big bastard. He's looking at us. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Right, stop. So... Come on. Here he comes. Come on. Right. Jump, grab. There we go. That's... Oh, shit. Okay, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Uh, this is going to get painful. I think we've already lost most of our teeth. That's fine. We didn't need them anyway. Yeah. Ooh, you know what? This chap would make a lovely rug. Uh, buddy, that's not helping my cause. Um, if I was a stabby spot, where would I... Oh, this is going to be hard, actually. Because we're just going to run out of stamina. We need to use... Come on, sword. Now, where... Why do I get the feeling that on his tail is probably going to be a weak spot? Yeah, hold. Takes a long time for him to hold his sword up. Understandably, you know, he's standing on the back of a large winged beast. Oh, this is going to get bad. Okay. Now, actually, being on the back of him like this is quite forgiving by the look of things. Uh, ooh, we are slipping. Oh, yes, knew it. There had to be one back here. Alright. This is going to get a little bit unpleasant. See, look, the, the climbing system now is just, it's not doing anything. This is my biggest criticism of the game so far. It's the climbing mechanics. They just don't work. Okay, here we go. There we go. Ooh. Nice. Okay, he actually doesn't have a lot of health either. One more? Nope, right, that's gone. So. Mm -hmm. Ow. Ugh, okay, that's fine. Run. Hold. I definitely thought this guy was going to be harder so far. However, we have now kind of angered him up, which is not great. Where would the underneath, I'm guessing? But we can't actually get underneath them. I've noticed that the last one is generally on their head. At least it's been on their head every time so far. But, right, let's get some grab back. Ooh. Unless we can go over his shoulders. No, because there's no fur underneath his wings. Hmm. There are those patches. Oh, if that is... Yeah, that could be awkward. Right, let's... No. Nope. No, so there's nothing on his wings. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, right. Ooh. Careful. I see, I see. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be incredibly interesting. If you can calm down, sir, just long enough for me to get a little bit of that back. Ooh, no, no, hold. Okay, we need more. All right, let's go back onto his main body. Oh, it's fine. Everything is fine. <sighs> okay, we're good. No, we're not good. We were almost good. He led us into a false sense of security. There we go. Right. Uh, meter recharged. Right. Run. Run. There we go. Okay. Nope. There we are. All right, buddy. Really? Really? You dick. 
This is uncomfortable at best. Okay, right, there we go. Ooh. I'm... Yeah, that one's gone already. Okay, so he's got to have another one on the other side, obviously. Symmetry and all that. Run, run. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, shit, that was stupid of me. But also, not as bad. Could have been worse. Could have... Oh, God, run, run. Oh, you son of a bastard. Okay, so we learned something here today. Now, where were those platforms? Ah, yes. Okay, you know what? This guy's not that hard. I'm assuming that these colossi are going to get significantly harder, because so far, they've been fairly weak. Although we only... Well, I suppose we're only on number 5 out of 16. They, this one doesn't seem to do any damage to us. It's just a matter of holding on and waiting for the right moment. You know, as well, these uh, these enemies are just just big puzzles so far, and I actually quite like that. You know, it's almost as if if they wanted to kill you, they probably could easily. Which leads me to think they're not actually that evil. I mean, some of them have been more aggressive than others. <sighs> right. Come on, you nugget. I don't know if we have to shoot him to get his attention. Or if we just have to wait. No, nope, here he comes. Come on, you bastard. Come to daddy. Although, ironically, coming in for an attack is... Uh, Kind of sealing your fate, really. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't fail me now. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. I mean, this guy could kill us easily, if you think about it. But no, he insists on uh, collecting us and taking us for a little ride. I don't mind. It's nice to feel the wind in your hair once in a while. Maybe he's just trying to be nice to us. Right, come on, wait for him to level out. Level out, buddy. Yeah, man. And make this nice and painless for you. Did I say painless? I'm in the opposite of painless. I'm going to make this painful for you. I'd imagine it would be painful. I've never had a sword in my weak spot before, but I would imagine it would be unpleasant. Right, is that... There we go. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's okay. Are oh, you... Nope. Saved. Saved by the tail, I guess. Okay. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. I think because he's so weak, he's not going to give us um, much of an opportunity here. We're going to have to just be fast. Because he's flying. He's still flying the same route, but he's flying it a lot faster. Right, stand up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get as much as we can. Because where we need to go is fairly simple. Oh, no. I possibly could have them. But... Ready? Run! There we go. Ooh. There's... Yeah, no, it is there. Just wasn't showing up. Ooh. One more. Is that... Yeah, he's got one more little bit of life left. He did a barrel roll. Actually, technically an inward roll, but let's not split hairs. There we go. And another one bites the dust. That was cool. And there's that sad music. Riding the wind. These video titles write themselves. <laughs> the achievements. The trophies, I should say. Unless... Why haven't we absorbed a soul? Ah, there it is, yeah. That's interesting. Most of the time, this is just... An... Oh, no, here it comes. Here it comes. We just had to play the waiting game. It seems interesting that every time we kill these guys, we're absorbing their essence. But there's always a little bit of us left behind. Oh, that was the first dialogue.
And then there were five. Five shadowy zombie figures. Another Titan falls. Giant that lurks underneath the temple. Hmm. It lusts for destruction, but a fool is not. Hmm. Right, anyway guys, I'm going to end that episode here. That was kind of an interesting one, actually. That winged beast was uh, quite a lot of fun. Um, again, very easy, but uh, I'm still expecting the challenge to ramp up quite significantly. Most of the difficulty in this game so far has come from actually finding the Colossi. They actually seem fairly easy to fell, but uh, hmm, kind of an interesting difficulty. But uh, we're going to see. We'll see how this game keeps pacing anyway. The pace is quite nice. It seems to be fairly quick. From one foe to the next but then i have heard um if you know what you're doing this is that this game can be easily done in a couple of hours um which is quite interesting however i think that's going to take us significantly more than a couple of hours to crack uh, what's our time on actually so we've been playing for three hours eight minutes so far and we've done five of 60 so we still have 11 left to fell yeah we're now on number six but considering this is pretty much a blind playthrough, I'm quite happy with that progress, to be honest. Um, hmm. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, until next time.